Okay, hopefully this is working. Hey guys, this is Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art. I'm trying out a new streaming uh, service today, so I'm uh, hoping that this is working. Um, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be making this note covered notepad that I um, picked up these little scratch pads from Walmart. So it has a little place for you to stick your notepad and a um, little note card and envelope. So let's get started here. Did you like my intro? Hopefully that played well. Okay, here, let's go down to the desktop and get started. So here we have our little covered notepad. This is a scratch pad that I got from Walmart. For a pen and gear, you get three little pads in the pack and they look like this. Um, you get three of those. So it's about a quarter of an inch wide. They're four by six. And I thought that would be fun to make a little covered notepad for that it's a magnetic little thing this pulls out this um cardboard backing just slides right into the pocket there and this is just a note card and an envelope if you have um a tendency to make your cards thick or you want to put something else in here you might need to increase the gusset here this is a quarter of an inch on this one you could increase it to three eighths of an inch here and here if you wanted to make it a little thicker but we'll go ahead and make this one it's a quarter of an inch um, thick this way so let's get started here i have one full sheet of eight and a half by eleven of um, cardstock and this is in polished pink and this one over here that i made before uses the expressions in ink um, specialty paper it's got this gold pattern and the um, little pack the uh, <clears throat> excuse me I'm coming down with something I um this is the four by six pack <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> that we have and it also has this nice striped gold piece so I thought I'd make another one with this pattern and the four by six pieces are actually perfect for this so let's go ahead and get started I picked three of the patterns here to use for this paper pack so get your trimmer out and you'll have to extend the arm here. And we will go ahead and score this. Now I had a notepad with my measurements just a moment ago. Of course. Well, that's no good. Maybe it fell on the ground. <laughs> well, this is going to be quite difficult if I don't have the measurements. Um, but let's see. Just a moment. It's got to be here somewhere. I think they just got scooted over. Okay, yep, I got it. Sorry about that. Alright, so we got one and a quarter inch. We're doing a bunch of scoring here. So on the long side. One and a quarter. one and a half. This is making our gusset, so if you wanted to make it a little bit thicker, you could go over just a little bit further. Five and three quarters. Six inches. And then you're gonna cut at 10 and one quarter. Make sure that's straight in there. And then we're going to turn to the right, so this way, and score at two and a quarter. And this will create the fold for the pocket. Make sure my cutting blade is out of the way. And we should be good. All right, we'll get our trimmer out of the way here. <coughs> So if you can see this little corner down in the bottom left, we're going to trim that one corner out straight along the edges. Actually, we're going to want to go maybe just a hair in inside that line on this side. And then we'll 
go ahead and burnish on all of the other folds. So we have, we're gonna be folding down on all of those folds that we just made. Get my bone folder out. tricky to get this one because it's so close to the other one but go ahead and give it a start and then it should fold nicely and then we can go ahead and fold on the pocket line right there okay so this is going to be facing this way and we're just going to be putting some tear and tape along the gusset here and here, and then just along this edge. And then it will fold up just like this. So actually, we'll, while the pocket is folded up, I'm gonna give it another burnish to really get those folds well. This is why you wanna trim this little edge just a little bit shy of um, the fold line because we're closing it here and it's going to be a little bit tricky so if you want to trim that down just a smidge that might be helpful too. So I think I will. I think I'll trim that just a hair more. I'm using this new program and I, I don't know if I can see your comments or not. Will somebody Please make a comment, say hi, so I can see if I can see that anywhere. I don't see anywhere where I would see the comments on this particular program, so we'll see how this works. All right, so I'm gonna take my tear and tape and put it on the middle part right here where the score marks are, nice and thin. Just tear that, I'm gonna do it over here It's okay to go over your score line just a hair. I know this tear and tape is probably three eighths of an inch, so it'll go over a little bit. That's okay. And over here. Give those a press so they'll easy easier to come off. And then we're just going to fold up right on that middle line and then press out for those other ones. And then again, give it a fold. Make sure that that's not too bubbly. Things always tend to get a little fussy when you're gluing after folding. Okay, so there's our basic construction right there. So now we can decorate the front here. I have this piece right here. It actually will fit perfectly right on there. You don't have to do anything. It's four by six. So let's just go ahead and glue that right on. Isn't that perfect? I had to do zero cutting for this. For that particular piece anyway. And I loved that stripe the gold stripe on that other paper so well that I just chose the same one and this one was just going to be sliced off at one inch so that's nice and easy. You could get four of those with this one piece. I'm just going to put it in my trimmer at one inch. And while we have the trimmer out, let's just go ahead and trim this off at three inches. This is a four by six. We're going to cut it on the long side here. And this will just be the wrap for, if I can grab it, for the paper pad, the top of the paper pad. So again, that will be four inches and that will just wrap around like this. So what we're gonna do is place it in here and score it at one inch. And then one and a quarter. And then the long side will just bend around the back. You don't have to have that be long, but 
it just helps. So we got that right there and we'll glue that on too. Oh, my dog's barking out back. All right, well, let's go ahead and add this with some tear and tape real quick. This is a nice quick project. You could probably rock out a bunch of these if you wanted to make some teacher gifts or um, some craft fair items. Use up some of your DSP so you have an excuse to buy more. Everything's on sale right now too, so great excuse to buy more paper right now because you'll have some place to use it. If I can get the backing off here. <laughs> All right, well, here we all try from this side. Pardon my dog and my rooster. <laughs> all right, so since we didn't put glue on this center piece, I'm just going to put that right on there, and then that bend will help me get this straight. Since the fold is straight, this will overlap just a hair over that black line, and then we'll go ahead and press that down on the back. like so. And there's our cute little paper pad and all we have to do is glue this piece on now. Uh, yeah, the glue right here. Mm -hmm. This glue is running out but I'm still using it on the thick end. All right, so just on this flap here, in the other one I used a magnet, and I, what I should have done is put the magnet underneath this piece. I think I can still sneak it under there. I'm gonna take one 3 8 of an inch magnet, and I'm going to put it on a glue dot. Hopefully I can still sneak it under there. I should have done this before gluing this panel down. We're just going to see if I can sneak the scissors underneath the middle piece here. Hopefully I can be sneaky. Maybe. All right, now I should be able to find that same part just by dropping this magnet on there and while this notepad is put into the pocket make sure you do that because otherwise the magnet won't close just right. You can always use velcro too. You can put velcro right here and then close it just right and then it would attach the other side over here. There's some little sticky velcro but we are going to do this with the magnet so I'll just put a glue dot right on the top of that and when I close it, here, let's put the magnet right on here, like that. These I got from Amazon, the magnets, they're very really handy, but I do want to make sure that I close this nice and snug and straight along the top and the bottom. That's the most important part, but now it should be good. And that is our finished cute little notepad. Actually, let's let's add a bow because I did on the other one. This is some ribbon that uh, is retiring, I believe, but it's so pretty. It's the gold shimmer ribbon, and of course I had it right here, and I don't know what happened to it, so let's just grab another one. <laughs> also got this fine art ribbon, and which is also retiring, another pretty gold ribbon that we have. So let's go ahead and make a bow. A lot of our ribbon and our dies and punches are on half off or 20% off or a lot uh, reduced price. So make sure you check that out in the link that I provided in the description here because things are disappearing. Let's go ahead and put this on with a glue dot about where the magnet is probably. Right in the middle there. 
cute little covered notebooks. And that is our project. Nice and simple today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, also, if you want to check out all of the retiring products in the link, you might qualify for a free March packet. I'm extending that until the end of Sunday, and I'll be mailing those out on Monday. But it will include all of the products needed to make these four projects. Um, the little B card here, and Ladybug, Relax, and this cute little flower one with little 3D images here. And this one is a gift card holder. So a gift card can go right in there. So if you place a $35 or more order using that link with the host code, you can qualify to get all of the pre-cut cardstock and stuff with the envelopes for this March kit for free. And there'll be a, a PDF that includes the instructions and the dimensions for everything. And you can watch the video that I posted last week on that. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a fabulous day. Bye.